<laughs> What's a community activist? That's a, that's a really good question. Oh, my lovely sister, Frida. She's incredibly respected in the city of Victoria. She was one of the earliest leaders in the, in the peace march, the big peace marches in Victoria. Raging Grannies are a group of women who want to make a better world for all grandchildren, all over the world. Mel is a, one, a, a great activist. The, the work that he's done in the Kitsilano area of Vancouver to stop high-rises, to make the community a better community, I admire very, very much. Uh, I'll start by thanking Mel Lehan for his tireless work on behalf of the whole community. Because of his dedication and hard work, this place has been kept from being sold and the community will now have it for the next 25 years. Well, what can you say except, thank you! Well, I think people think that it's hard to succeed in community activism. It's not. If you're really serious and you involve a lot of people, it's, it's more often than not you're going to win whatever it is you're trying to do. I was a strange young person. I became an activist at, in high school even. I, I, I found that that was I don't know if you call it my calling, that's not the word, but uh, I, I found it, it made me feel good to be doing things for people. Science has shown now that people who give get so much more pleasure than people who get. So when you're helping people and making a difference in their lives, you basically end up gaining a lot too. It, it's just a really rewarding. In about nine, I don't remember, the nine, late 1940s, at that time, chocolate bars cost five cents. Mm, boy, Almond Joy from Peter Paul. And they put this price up to seven cents. But we made signs, and we went to the stores, hold up signs in front of the stores. It didn't help, though. But that was my first time of doing a real activism thing. And then I can't talk about this topic without mentioning my parents. Obviously, it comes from my heart and I do it because I want to, but I grew up around my parents, Carl and Leah, and they were always active and they were always making a difference. And I grew up with them as, as a role model and I'm so proud of them. And how could I not do it? They also felt a strong commitment to their community, to their city, to their country and indeed to the world. They were peace activists. They always wanted to, they were always out marching for peace. All my friends loved my parents. They used to come over, my mom would give them a meal, my dad would talk to them and treat them as equals. Well, mom was just very outgoing and I think dad liked to talk to them. He was quite a talker. I think Mel takes after him. <laughs> St. James Community Square. Um, I, it was a building that was going to be torn down. We saved it. It's now used by 500,000 people a year. The Kitsilano Farmers Market, um, I, I got that started. The Hollywood Theater was going to be turned into a, a fitness gym. It's, it's just astounding. This is protesting the casino. And we ended up camping out on the school board, Save Our Rivers. I went out and got petitions and we formed a committee talking about oil spills and we had two, three hundred people show up. And I worked with the, the users of Handy Dart and I worked with the drivers and basically we won that and, we, and they didn't privatize it, thank God. I was a founding member of the Greater Victoria Disarmament Group that started in 1978. And in that we started the annual Peace Walk. It was around that time that a group of women wanted to do more action. They felt uh, we're not listened to. Community activism is always about a group of people doing things together. It's never one person. So you get to uh, work with your neighbors, you get to know them, you get to uh, have a feeling that you're making a difference. And at the end of the day, 
very often if you, you know, you succeed. In 1992, Greenpeace came to Victoria and their ship, the Rainbow Warrior, and they were asked to go up to Ketchikan, Alaska to uh, demonstrate against a nuclear base up there. And they asked me if I wanted to come. I got a hat and I went on the boat with them. And that basically started me. I, I took off from them. In, in people there are power. And uh, it's been true throughout the ages. There's nothing that, that people can't do that uh, can't be achieved by working together. It's always about people working together. I quote Mar Margaret Mead, who said, one person does make a difference. And join, join organizations. Become a raging granny if you're a woman. Oh, and if men want to join us, we tell them, start your own group. For 30 long years we've been raging. And we call ourselves but entertainers. Because men, some of us can't sing at all. You sing a song, it can be a song of protest. It can, in the farmer's market, it can be a song about the joy of, of urban farming. It's a spirit building thing. You, you have to have dance, you have to have plays, you have to have music. And how can you separate activism? How can you actually separate? You can't separate activism from the arts. People listen. They like to hear songs. And uh, they, they admire it. I have had many young women come up to me and say, I'm going to be a raging granny when I grow up. If you want to have a good time, become an activist and a community builder because there's nothing more satisfying than working with your neighbors, getting to know them, getting to play music, getting to speak out about things that are wrong and speak out in favor of things that you want to do, and then making wonderful friends. I can guarantee you that being an activist will be one of the most, if not the most, well, not the most, I'm going to go back to that. I don't know, it's just something in me that makes me want to make a better world. I, I have, really, I don't know what else to say. It's just, when, when I see all the bad things that are going on in the world, I've got to do something to make it better. I've often thought to myself, Frida, you're 86 now. Why don't you retire and do things your own? I can't, I just can't do it. I was gonna, the reason I said that is because being a parent is just as important. I didn't want to make it the only. 